It's been a long time coming, but I'm very glad to say, and I'm sure many of you will be very glad to hear, that the session film has returned. We have a special guest, it goes by the name of Simon Scott, and we've come to an old haunt of mine. This is a venue that I fished over 10 years ago, and as I stand here now and look around, my God, has it changed. And it looked like he fought pretty hard, didn't it? He did, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Happy days. We've saved the blank. Well, it's been a long time coming, but I'm very glad to say, and I'm sure many of you will be very glad to hear, that the session film has returned. We have a special guest, it goes by the name of Simon Scott, and we've come to an old haunt of mine. This is a venue that I fished over 10 years ago, and as I stand here now and look around, my God, has it changed. There is two lakes on the Ashbury Fisheries Complex, and both of them have come on leaps and bounds since I spent years on here as a young boy. This venue in particular, the stock has increased now. There's around about 100 carp in here and they spawned three weeks ago, which is always good for the fishing. We're mid-June now. The lake looks absolutely beautiful and we're just waiting for Scotty to arrive. Once he does, we're gonna have a little look round. As I said a minute ago, I've not been here for a very long time. And before I get any of the gear out of the car, I'd like to just have a wander around, see how the lake's changed. And of course, try and find some carp. This session film is going to be slightly different to what you would have seen in the past. Social distancing means we're gonna to have to stay apart but it is not going to stop us from catching carp and that is what we are here to do. So I'm going to go to my car, wait for Scotty and go and have a look. So where have you bought me, Elliot? Well, it's a, it's a lake I fished 10 years ago. This is the area that I grew up carp fishing in. So right. all of these waters around here, you know, I've fished quite heavily. This one, not so much. I've only fished it a couple of times. Well, this is it. This is, this is the top bait. Uh, and actually, when I fished here, it was the middle of December, so it's very, very different to how I remember it. Oh, it's, it looks fabulous, isn't it? It's really got its June colours. All the trees are in leaf. The Phragmites is looking fam fantastic, real lush. All that weed up with uh, willow fluff all over it. Yeah, it's a proper carpy scene. And there's even one or two backs bobbing about. Yeah, I would have thought they'd be here. Like, like I say, this is the shallow part. There's one of the just lake. gone through. Look, right here. Right here. Well, here or here? Literally there. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the look of this. So I, I think I think we'll split up, go yeah. have a little look round. Okay. We can't get close to each other, so there's no need to be together. No, I'll see you coughing in the car park. I'm keeping well out of your way. All right, I'll, give you, you a ten, I'll give you a 10 second head start. <laughs> Cheers. I've had a walk around, first time I've ever been here, and I've got to say, what a very, very pretty little lake. Surrounded by reeds, got some nice mature trees. The lake is heaving with fish. So there's lots of activity. There's lots of small fish, rudd and roach popping about. There's obviously some carp moving around the edge. I think what I'm going to do, having had a quick walk around, I'm going to leave Elliot to his, his business. I'm going to load the barrow up, scoot around the other side, and just see if I can uh, try and snare one earlier. It certainly looks to me like there could be some opportunities in the margin. So. Let's see if we can't turn the trick and catch one. Well, at the tender age of 29, 
it's not often that I feel old, but climbing these trees, which were, as far as I remember them, about 12, 15 foot tall, has officially made me feel old. But the one thing you do have now is a good view. You never had this. I can see out into the wee, you can't see any carp, but always handy that. Good climbing trees, they go a long way, especially on a lake like this where you've got thick reed beds all the way around the margins.